I bought all the upcoming Kobe retros that are dropping on April 13th. Like I said, I bought all the upcoming Kobe's that are dropping this Saturday. And I'm gonna unbox them with you guys and find out which one's my favorite. It's actually been a minute since we've done a full unboxing video. I don't do them as much as I used to because people just don't seem to watch them as much as they used to, which is interesting because on Reddit people were saying that they missed them, but then they don't watch them when I drop them, so I don't know. Let me know what kind of videos you guys like the best in the comment section down below. But either way, in today's video, I'm gonna unbox all of these Kobe's, check them all out, try them all on, and let you guys know how they fit, and which one's the best, and which one's my favorite, and which ones you guys should go for. There's a lot to unpack in today's video, literally. A lot of sneakers. But let me just stop wasting you guys' time. Let's just dive right into this unboxing. I don't know which pair of Kobe's this is, um, but we're about to find out. And actually, while I'm unboxing this pair of sneakers, you guys might have noticed my upcoming Apothecary High Stakes tee. It's part of the Apothecary Casino Collection, dropping this Friday, which for you guys is probably tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We've got four pairs of socks, a couple t-shirts. We've got dice, which is crazy. They're custom Apothecary dice. They're dope. It's awesome. You guys should definitely check it out. And uh, again, Live on Apothecary's website, 11 a.m. Eastern Time on April 12th, linked in the top of the description below. Our first pair of Kobe's. Now I grabbed these all in my size because I want to try them all on and give you guys sizing advice. I realize that Kobe's tend to run a little bit tight, but I wanted to grab them in my true size to give you guys like an honest, true size, one-to-one -one fit sort of comparison. So this is a size nine. I'm not going to tell you guys which Kobe this is, but I already know. Uh, let's pop a top on this guy. And actually, if you guys want to grab any of these Kobe's that I mentioned in today's video, a couple of these pairs I actually grabbed from Fine Line 1721. Shout out to him. He's a dope guy. He's been supplying sneakers to the community for years. I've actually left a link to his channel in the top of the description below. Also, if you guys want to grab these guys through places like StockX or Goat, I've made sure to leave affiliate links through the, uh, the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. But either way, this is the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Philly. These are pretty clean, man. I'm not gonna lie. The Kobe 4 is not my favorite Kobe silhouette. But the Philly colorway is fire, especially living in Philly. You gotta rep the Philly colorway. So if you guys weren't aware, the reason that Nike is dropping all these Kobe's on Saturday, April 13th, is because Kobe's last game that he ever played in the NBA was on April 13th. And these three Kobe retro colorways, or I guess pro tro colorways, are meant to tell the story of his life. So this first colorway, the Philly colorway, is because he was born in Philadelphia. The Italian camo colorway is because he moved to Italy for a while when his dad was playing overseas. And then the final colorway, the Venice Beach colorway, of course, is because he played his entire career for the Lakers in Los Angeles. So that's the reason that all three colorways are dropping on the same day. It makes sense when you think about it. Originally, I wasn't putting all the pieces together and I was like, why are they dropping three different pairs of Kobe's in seemingly random colorways on April 13th? But knowing the story makes a lot more sense. Not gonna lie though, it's kind of dope that we're getting all three colorways on the same day. It's been a while since we've gotten some Kobe's and uh, getting three in one day is pretty cool. So this shoe in this colorway first released back in 2009. And like I already mentioned, it's a Philadelphia themed sneaker. It's sort of like a, I guess a USA themed sneaker because Philadelphia is sort of the birthplace of America. I don't know if you guys have ever watched National treasure. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Or just gone to history class if you were born in the United States. But either way, it's a very cool sneaker. It features a blue upper. You've got the visible fly wire there on the side. You've got a white Nike swoosh with red hits around the outside of the Nike swoosh. You've got a red sock liner. And then this sort of explosion traction pattern on the outsole, which I dig. I've always liked this traction pattern. There's also some pretty cool hidden details on this shoe, like the, the stars on the ankle area of the shoe, which are surrounded by this sort of reflective material. So you actually get a really good look at them if you take a picture of the shoe with the flash. You've got Kobe's signature right there on the heel of the right shoe, it's actually not in the left shoe. And then you've got the number 24 debossed into the material in the heel. Of course, you've got Kobe's logo on the tongue and the laces actually come in white with these sort of red, I guess, accent stitching hits, which kind of look like little hearts, which I kind of dig because Philadelphia is a city of brotherly love. I don't know if that was a connection that they were trying to make or if that was even on purpose, but I think it's a cool tie-in regardless. That's a great pun because they're laces. That's awesome. I didn't even mean to do that. One detail that I didn't notice until getting these shoes in hand is that you've actually got 82378 printed on the uh, heel of the insole, which is Kobe's birthday. Now, in a lot of ways, this shoe is a retro of the original Kobe 4 Philly. However, it's also a pro tro, which means it's a performance retro, which essentially means that they updated some of the specs in this shoe to make it a better encore performance shoe for modern times. What is it, 15 years after the shoe originally released? Now, I couldn't tell you specifically what was done to this shoe to make it a performance retro over a standard retro. I'm sure there were changes made probably to the cushioning, but uh, I just don't know for the Kobe 4s. So let me know if you know in the comment section down below. But this shoe officially releases, obviously, this Saturday, April 13th, for a retail price of $190, which yes, is a lot more than it originally released for back in 2009, but that just seems to be the going rate for Kobe's now because all the other Kobe's releasing on the same day are also $190. When it comes to sizing, this pair of Kobe 4 Pro Tros does fit as I expected pretty tight, a little bit snug. So uh, if you do like your Kobe's snug, like maybe you're playing basketball in them, go true to size. But if you prefer a little bit of space or you want them to fit like a normal pair of shoes in your size, I would suggest going up at least half a size. You could go up a full size if you want, but I think a half size is enough to do the trick. If I buy these again, which I probably will, I'll probably enter for them on the sneakers app because I spent 
like four hundred dollars for each one of these pairs is that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> but if I enter for these in the sneakers app, I'm gonna be going for a size nine and a half personally. I'm a size nine. I got these in a size nine, and I think a size nine and a half would fit me better for lifestyle wear. So that's my sizing advice for this pair of Kobe fours. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the same sizing advice that I give you for the other two pairs that we're gonna unbox. When it comes to actually grabbing a pair of these, I don't know how hard they will be to get. I know that they will be limited and not easy to get. I actually think that these will be the second most limited pair dropping on Saturday. So it'll be the Italian camos being the most limited, then these guys, then the Venice beaches. And it looks like from the sneakers app that there will be a full size run of these guys. And there's also gonna be a full size run of the Venice beaches, but not a full size run of the Italian camos. So those ones will definitely be the most limited. I think these are the second most limited. And then the Venice beaches will be the uh, GR pair essentially. But I don't know that for sure. I'm just assuming based on the resale prices that I'm seeing and what I'm seeing on the sneakers app. I don't have any secret knowledge that you guys don't have. I just did research before I made this video. So that's what my research told me. But either way, if you guys want to grab a pair of these for resale, make sure to check out the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. It's a dope pair of shoes. I love the Philly theming and it's a shoe that uh, if I can get in a size nine and a half, I will definitely rock. All right, first pair down, next pair up. This might be my personal favorite pair from the collection. Now I realize the Philly pair is awesome and it's Philadelphia themed and I live in Philadelphia and I love Philadelphia. I love the Sixers, all sort of good stuff. But this pair is a personal favorite of mine and uh, a pair that if it fits, I will definitely be keeping. So again, this is a size nine. Let's pop the top of this guy and see what we've got. So these are the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro Venice Beaches. A crazy, crazy colorway. I really did. I really like it a lot. So at this point, we've had a decent amount of Kobe 8 Pro Tros release. I think more pairs than either the Kobe 6s or the Kobe 4s that we're gonna unbox in today's video. I think the Kobe 8 Pro Tro is probably the most common Pro Tro. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And again, the inspiration for this colorway is Venice Beach, obviously famous for its street ball, but also the fact that it's pretty close to the Staples Center where Kobe played. And I think for a good amount of people, it might not be a shoe that you throw on casually, but it's definitely a dope basketball sneaker. And also it's a Pro Tro, so in theory, it should be better on court than the original shoe. However, I've heard some mixed reports about that. So the big difference between this pair and the original pair of Kobe 8s is the fact that the insole or I guess drop in midsole of the shoe is made of React instead of the original material, which is a little bit taller and maybe a little bit softer. However, I've heard that the shoe is heavier. So that's something to keep in mind. Other than that though, visually it looks very similar, if not identical to the original release. And uh, I really like the colorway. I'm gonna be honest. Now, is this something I'd rock every day? Probably not, but uh, it's definitely a cool ball shoe and one that I could throw on with a pair of shorts maybe. I don't know, it's a clean look. The Venice Beach Kobe 8s originally released back in 2013, and this is the first time that they've retroed since, so 11 years later. And it's really cool to be getting this colorway back for the first time. Now, it's not a colorway that I ever owned or really even have too many nostalgic feelings towards, but it's dope. I like it now, and it's something that I would definitely rock in the summer. Some of the details that you'll notice on the shoe are the tie-dye upper, the sort of heat-pressed Nike logo right there with a reflective center area and a bright yellow outline. You've got yellow laces, you've got this yellow Kobe logo, and then of course you've got a signature on the lateral side of the shoe in orange. Obviously the actual colors used on this shoe are very summery. You've got this teal midsole, you've got orange hits and yellow hits. You've also got the semi-translucent blue outsole, which may or may not yellow, depending on whichever rubber compound they used, but I'm sure it's grippy on court. And when it comes to sizing, as you may or may not have guessed, these shoes do fit true to size, but definitely snug. Yeah, I definitely love to go up to a size nine and a half if I was wearing these casually. But all around, a really dope shoe. Probably my favorite out of all the sneakers that we're unboxing today. And again, if you want to grab it, you can grab it through the YouTube shopping tab on your screen or wait till this Saturday and grab it for $190 retail. I really love this shoe. I love all of them, but this one in particular. I love this one. So this is the final pair of sneakers that we're gonna unbox today. This is a pair that I got from Fine Line 1721. This is a pair that I think is the most anticipated out of all the Kobe's that are releasing on Saturday. And I really don't know what to expect because I never saw this colorway in person. Well, I probably did back when it first released in 2011, but I haven't seen it since. Actually, before we dive into this, if you guys wanna see any more unboxings like this, I actually have like seven pairs of sneakers out in the, uh, I guess the hallway. And if you guys want, I'll do a whole nother unboxing of a bunch of sneakers. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I really miss unboxing videos. They're a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys want to see that, but let's see what we've got. Obviously another Kobe box. It's interesting because I think all the Kobe boxes are the same, which I don't think was the case for these Kobe's originally, but I could be wrong. In fact, they all have the sort of um, Kobe 6 sort of snakeskin texture on the outside of the box, which is cool. This is obviously a Kobe 6. Again, size 9. Now I do own other pairs of Kobe 6's, so I know how these fit. Again, going up a half size would probably be a good move, but I do own the Grinches in a size nine and I'm fine with them. I, I just loosen the laces and they fit okay. And I do eventually plan to play basketball in them once I've worn them to a point where they don't look good anymore. So that's the plan there. But inside this box, we've got the Italian camo Kobe sixes. So Kobe spent about seven years of his life over in Italy where he learned Italian, he played soccer, 
And uh, that's where we get some of the uh, Mamba Curio stuff because he is a big soccer fan or was a big soccer fan. And um, this shoe is inspired by his time over in Italy. It's actually inspired by the Italian army's uh, camo, obviously, because it's the Italian camo sixes. But again, the reason for these three colorways to release on the same day is because they're telling different parts of Kobe's story and different parts of his life. So this is obviously the Italian portion of his life. And the Kobe 6, for myself and probably for a lot of people out there, is my favorite silhouette that Kobe ever made. And I think the Kobe 6 silhouette is actually inspired lightly by soccer shoes. So it's really cool that this shoe is sort of a mashup of that and also some Italian inspiration, which I really like. Now the colorway itself, I'm not a huge camo shoe guy personally, so this is not a pair that I really uh, see myself rocking on a regular basis. However, this is a pair that seems to have the most hype. Now I don't know if that's because it's the most limited of the three pairs. It is only coming, I believe, in men's sizing versus the other two pairs, which are coming in full family sizing. It's definitely the most limited, it's definitely the most coveted, and it's a pair that I think will be the hardest to get. The retail price again is $190 like the other pairs, and sizing wise, yes, these shoes do fit true to size, but they are a little snug. So personally, I'd recommend going up a half size, but you can wear them true to size if you want. Just loosen the laces like I did with the Grinches. Now going over some of the details in the shoe, you've obviously got the 3D snakeskin texture, which is you know the iconic feature of the Kobe 6s. You've got this printed on, or I guess painted on, reddish orange Nike swoosh on both sides of the shoe. You've also got this Italian camo print printed on underneath the 3D snakeskin. You've got some red hits on both the lateral sides of the shoes. I'm not sure why there's these tiny little red details, but they are there. Very small hits though, only in like two parts of the lateral side of either shoe. The Kobe logo on the tongue is red. You've obviously got red on the back of the tongue. You've got a red insole. And uh, the rest of the shoe is covered in black and dark green tones. So you've got a black midsole, you've got this black heel area, and then you've got this sort of dark green heel counter. And then Kobe's signature right there in the center in this sort of orangey red. And then rounding things off, you've got this dark green outsole accented by tan, or I guess sort of a tannish green. Kobe's logo, and then of course the carbon fiber in the midfoot. I'm so happy that we're getting Kobe's back. While I might not love every Kobe colorway that drops and want every Kobe colorway that drops, it's nice to know that they're bringing back these classic sneakers, especially just to honor Kobe's legacy. So I'm really excited about this collection dropping on the 13th. I think they're all great. Again, I think the Venice Beaches are my personal favorite, but I'd love to know which ones are your guys' personal favorite in the comment section down below. If you want to grab any of these, make sure to check out either Fine Line 1721 or check out the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. Um, you can grab them right now for resale or probably less when they actually officially release. So here they all are. And what's really cool about this collection that's dropping on the same day is that they're all very different. Like none of these shoes look like one another. They didn't pick like three black shoes or three white shoes or three whatever, or what they did with the last Kobe 8s that they dropped where it's like two different colorways of the same design. These three sneakers are all completely different, which is very cool to see. You've got the fours, you've got the eights, you've got the sixes, all great and uh, all shoes that I'm really happy to see back. But again, make sure to let me know your thoughts on all these sneakers in the comment section down below. Check out the Casino Collection dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on apothecary.com, and I will see you all in the next one.